In this video, we're going to implement the password reset token entity class, and we will also create a new password reset token repository. So to create a password reset token entity, I will go to an entity package and I'll create a new class there. And it's going to be Java class. I'll give it the name password reset entity, and I will need to implement serializable. So I will add one interface here, add, I will search for it, serializable from java.io. Select it and click on OK. Finish. And here we go. We have a new class created. Let's move mouse over here and add the generated serial version ID. So now we will have to annotate this class as an entity. So I'll add annotation entity because this class is going to be persisted in our database. So I will import entity from Javax persistence and I will give it a name which is going to be a name of my database table. I will call that database table um, password reset token maybe like this tokens. And now I'll create a few fields for this database table. The first field, let it be private uh, loan ID, which is going to be as a primary key. And this ID will be auto-generated. So it's going to have the generated value annotation. And it's also going to be an ID like this. So let me import this fields as well. Import ID and import generated value. We will have to store token, private string token. I'm not going to add any annotations here. Token can be empty. So I'm not going to make it the required fields. And additional detail that we need to store here is going to be user ID. And because we're using Spring Data GPA, the user ID will be read from the user entity class. So I'm going to create a new class field, but the data type of this class field is going to be user entity, and I will call it user details like this. So we need to annotate this uh, class field correctly for it to work. So first of all, it's going to be a join column. So I'm going to add an annotation, join column, and I need to give it a name by which it is going to be joined. So it's going to be joined with the users table and there will be an ID of the user. And this ID is a database ID, which is auto-generated for the users table. When the very first user record is created, this ID is one. And when the second record is created, this ID is two and so on. So this user's ID will be a foreigner key in our password reset token database table. And it will hold the value of the user for which we have generated this token. And finally, uh, one more annotation that we need here is the relationship between the token and the user details. And this annotation is called one to one. One token can be associated with one user. So we are going to import both annotations one to one and join column as well like this. So now I will save this and I will encapsulate my fields by going to source and then generate getters and setters. And I will select uh, ID, token and user details. No need to select serial version UID. And I'll click on OK. Getters and setters are created. I will double check and will format my code. OK, now I will save this and the password reset token entity is now created. So let's go and create the repository. Let's go to our user service implementation and import this password reset token. OK, so the entity is imported. And the final step is to create the password reset token repository interface. Remember, because we are using Spring Data GPA to persist our objects in the database, we need to use repository, which takes in entity and saves that entity into database. And for repositories, we also have a separate package. So I'll go into that package and I'll create a new repository here, which is going to be an interface. And I'll paste its name, just capitalize password reset token repository, and I'll click on finish. And this interface will need to extend the CRUD repository interface. CRUD repository, I'll select it here. 
And for the data type, we will need to provide the password reset token entity because this is the data type of the objects that this repository is going to return. So it's password reset token entity. And the ID of the primary key of the password reset token entity is of a loan data type. Okay, so we have interface ready. Let's go back to user service implementation and we will use a single method in that interface, which is called save and it takes the user entity. And because we're using Spring Data GPA, we don't actually need to implement this method because it's already given to us as part of this CRUD repository. So all I need to do now is to go to user service implementation and I will need to auto wire this password reset token repository. So I'll scroll up here. So I'll use one more and that is going to be password reset token repository and I'll need to import it. Okay, so now this password reset token repository is available in our user service implementation and we should be able to use it. Uh, let me scroll down. So we have the token entity and we have the password reset token repository. And the final step is for us to implement this send password reset request function. So let's do that. 